You see a lot of emergency vehicles surrounding McCarran International this morning. Don't be alarmed. It's just a training exercise. We're talking about a large emergency simulation close to one of the busiest airport runways. We do have Hector Mejia joining us live with the details. Wow, look at you right there, Hector. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Good morning to you both. We are standing right next to that active runway and the simulation this morning is preparing for the unfortunate event that could involve mass casualties at the airport. Hopefully it doesn't happen, but just in case it does, this is the training that will happen. We're previewing it this morning. It will involve this passenger jet you see here, a Boeing 737. It will also involve pyrotechnics and actors will actually play out the aftermath of a deadly incident here at McCarran International. Airport, and we also have video from previous training exercises. This one from 2012. The FAA requires most U.S. airports to train once every three years, and it's such a large-scale exercise that it takes more than a year to plan this thing out. And once it's said and done, local police and fire will then put their coordination to the test as they respond to actor victims laying out here on the ground, playing out wounded passengers or even personnel here from the airport on the ground here. Also. We are talking with the airport ahead in the next hour. Also later on this hour, they'll be t talking to us about the U.S. Air Force actually bringing in 100 volunteers who will play out those actor victims. You'll hear from the airport ahead in about 50 minutes. Reporting live, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now.